Hi, my name is Gary. I'm an engineer here at Agilent. Today I will show you how to implement FastPower, a hardware accelerated FFT process to perform a standard ACP measurement. Using the FastPower trigger delay feature, time gating can be implemented for various LTE TDD measurements. First I'll show you an example measurement using the traditional SWEP method and then again with FastPower. I will demonstrate how to perform an ACP measurement for a 5 MHz LTE TDD downlink signal using the application on the MXA. You can see here using the gate view that time slot 1 is being measured with a sweep time of 20 milliseconds. Now let me show you fast power in action by interfacing with an executable program. First I'll choose the appropriate TD LTE modulation from the drop down menu which will automatically adjust the configuration parameters such as bandwidths and offset frequencies. Next, time slot drop down menu will preset the trigger and acquisition time settings to the corresponding time gate. Finally, let's set our center frequency and choose an external trigger. Now we are ready to take our measurement. Using the bar graph view, we can see the adjacent and carrier channel powers. We can also use the table view and the spectrum view. Notice the generate spectrum parameter must be set to true in order to retrieve all sweep points. This is a debugging feature which will increase total measurement time and should not be enabled in production test programs. Fast power allows faster acquisition times, which means multiple gated sweeps are not required. For a given repeatability, the total measurement time is significantly reduced. This GUI is a great tool for debugging, but most fast power users will be implementing this feature in automated test programs. Using the Edit Definition button, we can view the fast power measurement definition parameters used for this test. Let's copy this string and communicate the Skippy commands directly to the MXA using the Connection Expert. By writing the fast power Skippy def command, we can now paste our definition in, surrounded by single quotes. Now using the Data Query command, we can perform the measurement and retrieve the channel powers in an ASCII format. I've now shown you how to implement this hardware accelerated fast power method by using both the graphical user interface program and by communicating directly with Skippy commands. For more information, visit the site seen here. Thanks for watching.